Hey everyone, welcome to lesson number three, factoring trinomials of the form a times f of x squared plus b times f of x plus c. Now, uh, I'd encourage you guys to read these sections here in your, in your textbook, but I find if I read them in the video, it, it kind of just takes a while. And uh, they, they kind of, they describe the process that I'm gonna use in the examples anyway. So I'm just going to start by um, doing the examples. So, in this class example number one, we want to factor completely. I have a to the power of four minus five a squared minus 14. When we're factoring uh, uh, polynomials, and in this case a trinomial that has a degree greater than two, what we do is we use the process of substitution. And in using substitution, what I do is I, sub I try to substitute one of these values. And I, what I say is let a equal, in this case, I have a to the power of four and five a squared, and they have a squared in common. Now, what I'm gonna here is, do here is, every, anytime I have an a squared, I'm gonna substitute it with a. So a to the power of four, there's one a squared in there, and I'm gonna call it a squared. And remember, this, a squ this big a here means a squared. So if I were to replace this capital A with a squared, it would be a to the power of four because it would be a squared squared minus five a minus 14. So again, I replaced my a squared with capital A. The reason I did this because it makes it easier to use the, the process of inspection to factor. So now I can factor by using inspection and I would say what multiplies give me 14 but adds to give me negative five. And so here I would have a, and I would have my other a over here. But what, again, what multiplies give me 14? So we could use our, our little um, real negative 14 and adds give me negative five. Well, I have uh, two and seven when multiplied and negative seven and two plus negative seven. And so I'm gonna insert those, so a positive two, negative seven. And the last thing we need to do is substitute my original ba value back into my expression. So this would be a, a is actually equal to a squared plus two times a squared minus seven. And that would be as, as simplified as something that this is gonna get, and this, so this would be my final answer. And we do the, the exact same thing with these expressions. The only difference with um, class example C is instead of saying A is equal to X squared, A is gonna be equal to X cubed and you would carry out the same process of uh, substitution followed by inspection. And uh, I'll go ahead and, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll do that one because it is slightly different than the other one. So. If I, if I were to uh, put my x cubed into this expression here, uh, a is equal to x cubed, then this is gonna become a squared minus nine a plus 14. So again, I factored out the uh, x cubed from this x to the power of six, and when I put it back in, then we'll yeah, then we'll see what we get. But anyways, we can then factor by inspection. So here's our little riddle, multiply, add. What multiplies give me positive 14, but adds to give me negative nine. And again, we're gonna be working with two and seven, but this time it's negative two and negative seven. So I'd have a minus two, a minus seven, and when I, uh, a is equal to x cubed, so it's actually x cubed minus two and x cubed minus seven. And that would then be my final answer for this expression. Uh, now, last class we were working, or last lesson we were working on factoring using decomposition. Now we can still use those methods. Now in this example, um, factoring trinomials of the form a f of x squared plus b of f of x plus c, where f of x is a monomial. Well, let's let's take a look at uh, what what this means. So first of all, we have 
um, 4 y to the power 4 minus 11 y squared minus 3. And what we're seeing here is, uh, is we're factoring this using either decomposition or substitution. So what we want to do is uh, we have this, this expression and we want to factor it by using either one of the methods. So method one is the one we're looking at today. Method two is what we used uh, yesterday, the last lesson. Now what we want to do is we, we've had the work that's been started for us. And so 4y to the power of 4 minus 11y squared minus 3. And method 1, 4y squared squared minus 11y squared minus 3. And again, we want to let a equal y squared. And that's what, that's what we, we have here. And now we want to finish using decomposition. So uh, if, if I were to use uh, decomposition, then um, I want to decompose this term here. So negative uh, 11a, right? And so we use the riddle, what multiplies give me this term and this term. So four times negative three. And I'll do the riddle, my t-chart off to the side here. All right, so what multiplies give me negative 12, but adds give me negative 11. And uh, so here we have negative 12, uh, negative 12, positive one, and negative 12 plus one. Perfect. So uh, I'm gonna substitute my values in. So negative 12a, plus a minus three. And then I'm gonna do my brackets, and now we can factor. So I'm gonna factor four a out of this one. I would be left with a still, minus uh, three, and divide by negative, or sorry, by positive one, so plus one, it will be a minus three, which would be four a plus one, a minus three after I factor out the, a minus three, which is equal to, well, let a equal y squared. So four y squared plus one, y squared minus three. Uh, method two, we're basically doing the exact same thing. We want to factor it from this point. The only difference is they, they didn't factor out the y, right? And so when we do put our brackets around these terms, then we want to factor out everything that can be factored out. So in this case, it'll be 4y squared. And in my brackets, I'll be left with y squared minus 3. And from here, we're just taking out uh, the 1. So plus 1, and that would be y squared minus 3, leaving us with uh, 4y squared plus 1 and y, squ oh, y squared minus 3. All right, so let's, uh, yeah, you can choose to do which, whichever uh, method you, you wish. Um, in this video, though, I'm just going to be using, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to be using the method where I, this method here, method two. So you call this decomposition. It's a type of decomposition. And so again, what multiplies give me four times six. So what multiplies give me negative 24, but adds to give me negative five. And you could do the riddle here. Uh, I'm not, just to kind of save time. But uh, negative 24, negative 5, and we have negative 8 and 3. Negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5. So that would be 4, x to the power of 4, minus 8x squared plus 3x squared minus 6. And I can then group those terms, and I can take out a 4x squared, which would leave me with x squared minus 2, and from here, oh, sorry, I don't know why I have this here, that's a mistake, and then here I could take out a 3, which would be with plus 3, and then x squared minus 2, and I would be left with this and this, which is 4x squared plus 3, x squared minus 2. Uh, next, we could look at this expression here, and with this one, I'm going to do the substitution. So I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to substitute. So I'm going to say let a 
equal x squared. All right, and so what this is then gonna become is eight a squared plus 10 a minus three. Okay, now what we can do is we can solve using decomposition. So what multiplies to give me uh, eight and three, which is uh, negative 24, and what adds to give me 10. So negative 24 and 10, so negative two and positive 12. So that would be eight a squared uh, minus two a plus 12a minus three. We can then group these terms. And uh, I can f uh, out of here, I'm gonna pull out a, a 2a. 2a, leave me with a minus one. Uh, out of here, I'm gonna pull out a three, a positive three, leave me with, oh. Uh, 2 and 12, yeah, that's good. Where did I, go? oh, sorry, 3. Leave me with 4a, oh, and there's 4a, there we go, minus 1. Okay, and now I can group them again, leaving me with um, 2a plus 3 and 4a minus 1. But I need to substitute that value back in. So once I substitute my value back in, I'm gonna be left with two x squared plus three and four x squared uh, minus one. Now the thing with this one, however, is I recognize there's a difference of squares there. So we can break this down even further, two x squared plus three. Difference of squares method, you're gonna be left with two x minus one and 2x plus one. Oh, hopefully you were able to see that. There we go. It's 2x squared plus three, 2x minus one, 2x plus one. So here was my difference of squares. And there was, uh, there's everything else. Um, these ones can sometimes look confusing, but one thing you can uh, maybe picture is that these sine squared x and sine x is just, uh, they're just variables essentially, sine x. You could think of it as a variable, all right? So the way we actually approach it is exactly the same. We could, we could factor this one using decomposition, and uh, I, would, I would start with doing the same riddle thing. What multiplies give me six and two, so 12 but adds to give me negative seven. So uh, negative four times negative three and negative four plus negative three. So this is gonna become six sine squared x, oops, sine squared x minus, uh, minus three sine x um, minus four sine x plus two. So my, ne my negative seven sine x was decomposed to negative three sine x and negative four sine x. So then I can group my terms. I, from here I can pull out a three sine x. So divided by three sine x would leave me with two sine x minus, two sine x minus one. And from here I can pull out a, uh, a, two, a negative two, sorry. So minus two, and I'd be left with uh, two, sorry, I'm making a lot of mistakes this video, two sine x plus minus one, minus one. So then I could uh, factor out my two sine x minus one, and I'd be left with three sine x minus two, and that would be my final answer. Uh, the last question, factoring ones like this completely, all we got to do is, again, start when we could say let A equal X minus 3, and then we can just factor using either method.